Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday, even though today is Saturday, and I'm very sorry about that. I got a little busy yesterday, and yeah, that's... I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm sorry. I have a life sometimes. I don't have many friends, but the friends I do have, I like to keep their company, so I go and have fun, fun with them sometimes. I don't know. I sound kind of gay. Anyway, uh, today's tutorial is about additive dissolving or a cinematic intro or fade in kind of a thing um, what's so special about this you guys might ask I mean I can just do an opacized intro and it looks the same no it does not you stupid look it it fades in and uh, this footage looks like crap because it's been compressed so many times because I have to give it to you guys I don't want it to be the full quality I'm sorry about that but uh, if this was the full quality it would it would probably look a lot better but check it out guys this effect using luma matting or a luma mat it fades in the lights first then it fades in the midtones and then it fades in the darks so you get a more cinematic look with the intro instead of it just doing everything over a period of time like a regular opacized fade in so yeah i will be including this additive fade project file right here and the first shot if you guys want to do everything yourselves um yeah just give the video a like because it helps out a lot and yeah let's jump into the tutorial so uh, i'm just gonna load this uh additive fade this is what you guys are gonna get um it's already done but since i'm just including this to practice with i'm gonna delete everything except for things we need so Deleting that, and I'm switching this back to no track mat. And now it is as if I just dragged and dropped first shot into here with some color correction. And um, I'm actually going to turn that off right now. But the reason why I don't want to just drag and drop this in here is because I already, uh, from my old tutorial, I already applied warp stabilizer to it. So that's why I just, uh, I'm just going to keep it this way so I don't have to go through all that again. If you want to learn more about all that, uh, this was already included in a tutorial I already did called sexy movie look so go look at that anyway back to this tutorial the first thing we're gonna do is you're going to duplicate the shot that you want the um, intro to be on so what I did was I clicked the the shot I wanted to duplicate and I hit control D and it duplicated it it's right here so with uh, the second one that I duplicated selected I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna rename it uh, Luma that makes it easy Okay, so what we're going to do with this Luma is first we're going to desaturate it. So let's type in satur, <laughs> find hue and saturation, drag and drop it onto Luma, and we're just going to take the master saturation and we're going to drop it all the way down to negative 100, and that just makes it black and white. I mean, you can use tint, you can use whatever you want to make it black and white, but the main thing is you want it black and white. Okay, so next thing we're going to do with Luma Selected, we're going to go up to these effects and presets, and we're going to type in levels. We're going to take uh, this levels right here under color correction. Don't try any other ones because uh, it won't look very good. Drag and drop it onto Luma. And what we're going to do is we're going to double click right here on this uh, far edge, and that just creates another slider. We're going to drag that in a little bit to brighten up the whites, and we're going to drag this side in a little bit to darken the darks just add a little bit of contrasting and then next here's where it gets interesting we're gonna type in expose or expos and uh, grab the color correction version of exposure drag and drop it onto luma and here's where we're going to make the fade so uh, when I do basically black it's just like in Photoshop black represents what's going away white represents what's coming back that's not racist, it's just color correction terms. Okay, gosh. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make the exposure go negative until everything goes black. So, I'm just going to do some outrageous number like negative 15. See, oh, and it went black, so that's good. But uh, when you do this, what you want to make sure that you do is you go up to File, go down to Project Settings, and now we're going to make sure that the color settings are on 32 bits per channel floating point. Now, it'll most likely be on 8, 8 bits per channel, but if you don't do 32 bits per channel, you won't capture every spectrum of white there is and every spectrum of black and every spectrum in between. 
So that's why it's very important to change it to 32-bit floating point. Okay, so mine was already on 32 bits, so this is actually pure black, which is exactly what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, toggle a keyframe on the exposure. We're going to go forward for how long you want the intro or the fade in to last. And then let's just do the opposite. Let's do 15, and uh, it doesn't go white. And to fix that, all we have to do is drag this up until you get rid of all the black and but you don't want to go too far up or else it starts getting weird so right there that should be perfect and then just go through it make sure that all the black is gone because we hate black ah uh, that sounded so racist and it was not meant to be I'm sorry I'm actually part black anyway let's do this thing <laughs> now uh, now that you have a nice fade from black to mid-tones, all the way up to white. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to select first shot, and we're going to go to the track mat. If you don't have these options, you can hit F4, and it brings up the blending modes and the track mat options. And we're just going to go down to Luma Mat, and whatever you named the Luma Masks. Yeah. So mine is called Luma, so it's Luma Mat Luma. Click it, and with that you will get the effect that you're going for. However, right now, it's actually kind of harsh. So what we want to do is we want, we want to go up to Effect, then we want to go to Blur and Sharpen, and we, you can use any blurs you want, but Box Blur has an option. If you go to Box Blur, you turn it up, let's just go to like 7 pixels. Box Blur has an option for Repeat Edge Pixels, and you want that. So, So yeah, that's what I'm using. And with that you will have a nice soft, I actually don't like it that big, let's put it down to like five. So it's a little sharper, more sharp, I don't know what's uh, gra grammatically correct. So I'm going to let this render out and we're going to take a look at what we created. So I'll bring you back in a second. Alright guys, welcome back. Here is the product that we just created. And yes, it is boring because I have not turned back on the color correction yet, but as you can tell, check out that nice clean fade in however you will probably notice right about here it looks kinda strange because those last fades in since this isn't full quality and maybe some of your footage won't be that this good a quality anyway uh, it doesn't look like the final transition doesn't look very good so how can we fix that Eli well person I'm about to tell you so calm down <laughs> anyway, okay, so hit Control D, duplicate the original file again. And uh, mine's taking a little bit. There we go. So I'm just going to call this uh, uh, Smooth Jazz. Okay, so with that, we're going to click and drag this. We're not clicking and dragging the whole file. We're just We're just trimming it to the point where we need it which will be probably around 215 well depending on the how how far I made that yeah so around 215 will be a nice fade I'm I'm just looking where I put the keyframes the keyframe ends about here you want maybe one third of that last fade to be uh, like if you don't like that bloom effect then you're going to want to fade in this next part uh, about one third like in comparison with the long keyframes that you did. I'm sorry, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, I hope you guys kind of understand what I'm saying right now. So anyway, with Smooth Jazz selected, we're going to hit T to bring up the opacity. We're going to drag down the opacity to zero. And then we're going to toggle a keyframe. And we're going to go to where the keyframe ends here. And we're going to go 100%. And now, it'll take out that harsh bloom effect that we were seeing so we hit zero I'll bring you guys back in a second and you guys can see what that did alright welcome back again uh, there's what it did it just took out that very harsh looking thing and you can always adjust it if you want I might want to adjust mine a little bit but you know what this was just an example for you guys so I mean I'm just giving you guys the tools to succeed so take this and run with it so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn back on the color correction 
And, uh, oh yeah, and also, here's something else I forgot to do. When you duplicate that original layer, you need to turn the track mat to none. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, now you are done. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to render this out and see what we created together at the end three times. So, stay tuned. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing to us and being our friends. Because like I said, I don't have that many friends. So thank you guys for being my friend. And stay tuned for Brandon's next tutorial on Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday. We don't know. Uh, we, sometimes we get busy. I'm very sorry about that. But we still love you guys with all our heart. You guys can't see right now, but I'm doing a heart with my hands. And that was for you. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys on the next episode of, well, I don't always say that because of Minecraft Hoop. Anyway, on the next Tutorial Tuesday, no, on the next Effects Friday. That's what I was looking for. All right, see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>